This year for our family summer vacation, we are spending six days in Yosemite National Park. We're gonna show you a bunch of fun things you can do in the park with little kids. The first thing that we like to do when visiting a new national park is to stop by the visitor center and pick up a junior ranger badge. Our kids love earning the junior ranger badges, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is stop by the visitor center, pick up a booklet, and then start working on your badge. Another reason to stop by the visitor center is so you can pick up one of these flyers. They have a flyer for each area of the park, and not only does the flyer have a map of each of the different areas of the park, it also, has the different hikes that you can do in the area and the hikes are broken up into easy, moderate, and hard. We're gonna be focusing on the easy hikes with our little kids, but just know that there are hikes for all different activity levels. So everyone coming to Yosemite is gonna have plenty to do here in the park. The next thing that you'll want to do in Yosemite Valley with your little kids is go check out the waterfalls. So one thing about Yosemite is it has a ton of beautiful waterfalls. And right now we're gonna go check out one of them. It's a really easy half mile hike. It is the Bridal Veil Fall. Okay, we made it to the trail here for the Bridal Veil Fall. We got El Capitan as a beautiful backdrop. We ready to go, Isaac? We ready to go? Isaac, what do you see? What do you see? Look at the deer. Look at the deer. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Shh. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, kind of a bummer. The trail is closed. The ranger told us it was open, so we were hoping to see this, but at least we got to see the deer. And this is really gorgeous right here where the waterfall comes down. So we are going to take a family picture. Well, I'm sorry we couldn't get you a close-up shot of the Bridal Veil Fall, but here it is right here behind us. Okay, we are not gonna be thwarted in our waterfall hunting. We are headed to the lower Yosemite Falls. So Dumbo has his magic feather, Isaac has his magic stick. Yeah. If he holds this stick, he will sit in his backpack when he would not otherwise sit in the backpack. So we got the stick, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's get in the backpack. Okay, Isaac, we ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. Hey Isaac, you got your stick? Yeah. yeah, you got your stick. You see the waterfall? What did you do to this stick? Yeah. What did you do? Yeah. 
We are on our way back down. Isaac just couldn't resist the urge and threw his stick into the river. So to get him in the backpack, we had to find him a replacement stick and he is doing good. Yeah. What are your thoughts on Lower Yosemite Falls? Um, it's an easy hike. You can do it in less than a half an hour. And very picturesque. Okay, we are running back to the car because the mosquitoes are eating us up, huh, Isaac? <laughs> So tonight is baked ziti and some corn and some toasty crescent rolls. Can you burp? Oh my How do you sneeze, Isaac? Can you show this to Dad? Bless you. This is so adorable. So what's for breakfast today? We did egg McMuffins. Oh, baby. Ah. Yeah, hold her. Don't get out of your clothes. It's good than that one. Oh, I these. I thought this was beans. No way. <laughs> it's cheese. It's cheese. It's not beans. Really now we are off to go explore another waterfall. We are going to go check out the Vernal Falls. And this is another one that is a great hike for families. So to get to the footbridge of Vernal Falls, it's 0.8 miles from the trailhead. If you go all the way up to the top of Vernal Falls, it's 1.5 miles, but it's a lot steeper when you get past the footbridge. What's the matter? What's the matter? So Karen, we're probably halfway through this vernal hike to get to the foot bridge. How's it going? We're doing good. It's a lot steeper than the girls planned on. So we have to stop quite a few times. Our magic stick trick stopped working. <laughs> Isaac wants out of the pack. Gonna go the rest of the way up to the top of Vernal Falls? We are not gonna go to the top. We're gonna stop at the footbridge and then go down. <laughs> so we are here at the footbridge at Vernal Falls and we are gonna eat lunch in this bear cave, right Madeline? No. <laughs> yeah, okay. Mom, you don't know what I did. I call this that one's creepy. <laughs> we need to call the police officer to get these clothes. We need to what? Call the police officer to get these squirrels. We need to call the police officers to get these squirrels? <laughs> okay, here is where we left off the other day with the little girls. Me and Kate are back at it again, and we're gonna go the rest of this trail together. <laughs> So here is Vernal Fall right here behind us. The view is spectacular. I don't know if you can tell from the video, but it's easy to tell from here why they call this the mist trail. What do you see, Kate? 
pink. Oh, it's so pretty. We made it. We are at the top of Vernal Falls and it is beautiful. We are so glad we came up to the top of Vernal Falls. That being said, it is quite a trek and I'm really glad that we turned around with the little kids at the footbridge. But for your older kids, this is a beautiful hike. Now we're gonna go on up to Nevada Falls. Okay, we made it to the top of Nevada Falls. This is amazing. What do you think, Kate? It's so pretty. Well, that was a lot of work to get up here, but the view is definitely worth it. We're gonna head back to the camp on the John Muir Trail. Anyway, if you got some older kids, this is a pretty strenuous hike, but it has some spectacular views. It is 3.3 miles to the Yosemite Valley from Nevada Falls along the John Muir Trail. This is so beautiful. I'm really glad we're taking this trail back. What a beautiful view. You can see the Nevada Falls right there. And then right over here, you have Half Dome behind us. This is spectacular. Another fun thing to do is take a scenic drive. We like to plan our scenic drive after we had done an activity in the morning and after lunch. That way our little kids would take a nap in the car while we were driving to the location and even parents who were a little exhausted could take a little nap. So the first scenic drive we took was to Tunnel View and we actually came in through the southern entrance at Yosemite Park and you're gonna drive through this big long tunnel and be forewarned I was not prepared for this. As soon as you get out of the tunnel you are going to be hit with the most spectacular view it was just overwhelming to me so prepare yourself so the next day we took a trip up to just go take in the full view there at tunnel view that's a scenic trip you'll definitely want to check out another scenic drive that we took was to glacier point glacier point is an hour and 15 minutes away from yosemite valley and there is a couple of spots that we got out of our car we got out at washburn point and glacier point which are right next to each other okay here is the view from washburn point you can see vernal falls then nevada falls there is half dome just a beautiful view and here is the view from Glacier Point. This is spectacular. So right there is the upper Yosemite Falls. Down below it is the lower Yosemite Falls. If you look down here is the meadow. You see the Merced River snaking its way through the valley. Right down here is Curry Village. Then right here is where we are camping in the Upper Pines Campground. Right up here is Half Dome. Right below that is Mirror Lake. And then over here is the Nevada Falls and Vernal Falls. What a spectacular view. There's actually more to do at Glacier Point than just the scenic view. There is a geological place and there's a shop up here and our kids really loved climbing on all of the rocks. This is definitely worth the hour and 15 minute trip from Yosemite Valley. 
If you want to see a sequoia tree, you might want to take a scenic drive to the Mariposa Grove. We're hitting the Mariposa Grove on our way out of the park because it's right there next to the southern entrance of the park. So we are here at the Mariposa Grove Welcome Plaza. From here, you need to go another two miles up before you begin seeing the sequoia trees. But because of COVID, they don't have a shuttle to bring you up. So for us to go see the sequoia trees, we would have to go two miles up and two miles back for a four mile round trip. And then even when you're up there, there's like a two mile loop to see the sequoia trees. So I don't think our little crew has it in them to make that long trek. So we are gonna skip the sequoia trees this year, but when they have the shuttle going, it'll be a lot easier for you to see the sequoia trees with your little ones. One little trick though, is if you get here before seven in the morning or after seven in the evening, you can drive your car right up to the grove. Another fun thing to do in Yosemite Park is to ride your bike. This park has so many trails and it is so easy to get to place to place on your bike. For our family, not all of our kids Kids can ride a bike so what we did is we got scooters <laughs> Our kids had a blast scooting around Yosemite Valley and scooting around our campsite. One of our girls' favorite parts of this trip was just laying low and playing at the campsite. We brought some bug catchers, we also brought a hammock, and they had a heyday bringing friends over, swinging in the hammock, and catching as many caterpillars as they could. A caterpillar. Where did you find him? On the road, and I was about to run him over. This is his home. It's his home? What did you put in his home? Leaves and dirt. I love it. Whoa, that's got to be one happy caterpillar. The girls also discovered the natural seesaw that is just outside campsite 135 in Upper Pines. It's called the bouncy log. And they had a great time going over every day to bounce on this natural log that had fallen on the ground. First thing you should know about camping in Yosemite Valley is it's really tricky to get a campsite. We'll link to an article below that will give you some tricks to landing a reservation, but simple story is you need to do it six months in advance and get multiple people trying to jump on at a computer at the same time. So what happened, Carrie Ann? At exactly seven o'clock Pacific time, we were ready with three computers and we were all hovering our mouse over the book it button hoping that one of the three of us would get a campsite and one of us was successful. <laughs> this is the situation room. <laughs> three computers, three logins, three people, lots of prayers. <laughs> We were fortunate to get a campsite here at the Upper Pines campground and we're even more fortunate because this campground is the only campground open in the Yosemite Valley right now due to COVID restrictions. So we feel very fortunate to be camping in Yosemite Valley at this time. Okay, one more thing I should mention about camping in Yosemite Park. In the evening, you might hear people yelling Elmer! Elmer! In the middle of the night. The first night when I heard everyone yelling Elmer, I jumped out with a flashlight thinking I was going to help someone find a lost kid. Well, it is just a game that is unique to Yosemite Park where the different campsites will yell Elmer, and when you hear someone yelling Elmer at another campsite, just yell Elmer back to him. It's a fun little tradition here at Yosemite Park. Another fun thing that you need to do in Yosemite Valley with your kids is go on a hike. Here are three hikes that we did. First, we did the easy hike to Mirror Lake. So for the Mirror Lake hike, you can hike it, but you can also ride your bike or for us, our scooters.
Okay, we made it here to Mirror Lake. It is like a picture here. It is literally right underneath Half Dome. It's this little pond that they have. It's nice and shallow so the kids can play in it. There's a little stream running through it. We're gonna have a blast. How did you catch it? I was very quiet. Very quiet? Uh -huh. And then what? I snapped my fingers and it kept on doing it. Then I got very I didn't hear me something or the butterfly. So I just picked it up. <laughs> so I think of all the places that we have visited with our kids in Yosemite Valley, Mirror Lake was my kids' favorite. So definitely bring a swimsuit, pack a lunch, and go visit Mirror Lake. You won't regret it. Another fun little hike to do is just to go out at twilight and hike in a meadow. If you're lucky as us, you'll see lots of deer grazing in the meadow at twilight. It is so peaceful and quiet, except for my kids, of course. We drove to another meadow looking for more deer and sure enough right here below Yosemite Falls we found some more deer. This is so cool you should definitely try it and then another benefit is that the canyon is so peaceful and quiet you can hear the roar of the waterfall otherwise it is just so peaceful and quiet. The third hike that we did was the Cook Meadow Loop. A good thing about the Cook Meadow Loop is it takes you right up by the Yosemite Valley Visitor Center. And when we had done this hike, we had completed all of our Junior Ranger requirements and the girls got to earn their Junior Ranger badge. On your vest, Kate. Let's see this vest. Whoa. Oh my goodness. That's a lot. Wow. Where hasn't she been? No, she's the like Dora, the adventurer, the explorer. Wow. Zip her up, Kate. <laughs> so cool. All right. Look at that. 
check out this view of the Yosemite Falls right here behind us. Right up here you have the upper Yosemite Falls and right here is the lower Yosemite Falls where we hiked to the other day. Okay, we are finishing up the Cook Meadow Loop. That was absolutely beautiful. It's a short one mile loop, so it's really easy. Now we are on our way from here to the visitor center so these girls can get their Junior Ranger badge. Yosemite Junior Ranger as a Yosemite Junior Ranger to always learn to always learn always explore always explore and help friends and family and help friends and family protect my park too protect my park too Ranger Mango thank you Ranger Mango <laughs> Normally, when we are in a national park, we like to go check out the visitor center and all the movies in it and also take advantage of the ranger programs that are going on. Unfortunately, all of this stuff was closed because of the COVID restrictions. Fortunately, the Miwok Village self-guided tour was still open and our kids loved it. Isaac yeah. keeps looking for a bear. bear. So in all of the Indian village homes, bear. he's calling for Mom. the bear. He thinks there's a bear hiding bear. inside. Bear. Bear. Where's, the, where's the bear? Gone. He's gone? Gone. Where is he? Daddy. <laughs> Last but not least, you're definitely going to want to go play in the Merced River that cuts through the Yosemite Valley. Two things that we did, we went and played on a sandy beach. We especially loved our time at Devil's Elbow. So one thing you absolutely have to do with your little kids in Yosemite Valley is play in the river that cuts through the valley. There are a ton of sandy beaches all along the river and we are at one of those sandy beaches. It is called El Capitan Meadow because... Pretty cool, huh? And because it's a sandy beach, it's a good idea to bring some sand toys. Your kids will have a blast. Be forewarned, the water is cold. The water that flows through the Merced River is through ice melt, but our kids did not mind it at all. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Woo, that's cold. <laughs> also a shortcut for getting a bath. <laughs> Madeline, come look at all this gold. You see it sparkling there? We can be rich. This has to be fool's gold right here. How cool is that? Whoa. I can't get over how beautiful and massive El Capitan is. This is a perfect place to play with the kids in the water. Another fun thing is to go rafting down the Merced River. We started out at Stoneman Bridge and we ended up at Sentinel Beach. It was about a three mile tube ride and our kids had so much fun. <laughs>
Good job, Kate. So one thing you should know about rafting down the Merced in Yosemite Valley is that life jackets are required for everyone, so make sure you don't forget your life jacket. There's two things that we forgot that we wish we would have brought. We wish we had brought a paddle. That would be helpful to push off the bank and to also steer you. And more importantly, we forgot Isaac's binky. He has not been his best self on the trip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how are you doing on your ship over there, Madeline? Good. Are you a good sailor? Mm -hmm. Kate is our tugboat up here. <laughs> the little engine that could. Okay, we got we got smart and Kate got a stick. Yeah. Now she is a super tugboat. <laughs> So we've been to a number of national parks and this has to be the prettiest place we have ever been. It is just spectacular and breathtaking. Our kids had such a good time. It is like an outdoor amusement park. There is fun for all ages here in Yosemite Valley. We definitely will be back and we definitely recommend you coming and bringing your little kids with you. Thanks so much for watching our video. Bye. Bye.